Hey, how's it going, guys? This is uh, Adam Sam Radio. We're just working on this little cheapy piece of Chinese radio together. And uh, I just put some of my IF cans in here. And then I got one left to go on that one. Hang on a minute, guys. I'll put you down. Can't even see where my thing is. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's my. Let's just move it over. Moving on over. Uh, get it out of the way. Yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on in the shack today. Let's, uh, I'll explain a little later. Okay, there we go. That's a good shot. I got one more IF can. That's right there. It's got to go in. Well, this is the progress we're getting here. I, I beefed up the capacitors and everything because the things were cheesy. The only thing I didn't change was the, uh, the electrolytic stake there. I think they're rated for 50 volts. And I, I upgraded the uh, ceramic disc capacitors because uh, the ones they give you, they're kind of cheesy. So. Uh, so I stepped it up, stepped my game up a little bit on this one here. So let me get this thing positioned. I got this right here. Yes, I do. Let me move it over just a little. Sorry, guys, for being making you all dizzy. Let's try to get this thing where. I want it to go. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> well, everybody's got their... Oh, everybody's got their own ways of soldering. I, I, uh, I've always done it since I was in high school. <clears throat> the, uh, this is uh, the best uh, iron to use. It's one of these tipped irons. I use all the time. I have a weller as well, but uh, I have that on standby, but I don't need it. This is just fine. And I I can variate the power on this uh on this uh soldering iron. An old radio shack. I think I bought this when they went out of business. Or no, way before that. A radio shack and a sensitive safe or, or uh ESD is safe. <laughs> And I always I like the the tips. The tips. Uh, I think I just replaced this one. I've had a, this is the first tip I put on it from since I've had this thing. Okay. Anyways, uh, we're gonna install this last IF. It's the white one here. I had a hard time figuring out what goes where, what transformer, but I know the audio transformer goes right after the volume control, as you can see. And it's like there's your volume control, and then that's your audio. I always think, always for years, the green is always the go. It's for audio, and your audio output transformer would be uh, yellow. Think of uh, the red, uh, the green going into yellow, screaming all yeller. No, oh, there she goes, right there. All right, enough of the baloney talk here so we're gonna install install this uh, find the, uh, the the pinouts for this thing here okay it goes in like so this was kind of difficult I had to stop and think about some things at one point okay that's in now I gotta solder it schematic out of the way. I know I should be wearing gloves, but I got a little lazy, but when I'm done with the well done for, for the day, I'll just really scrub my hands. And I got a position where I'm doing here. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Get some solder going. Oh, let's see. I should have got a magnifier or something. Okay. Um, 
I usually like to bend these tabs down just a little. Bend them down so it holds that can in, into place. I'm going to bring my old trusty greenie out. Come on. The old greenie. This does a good job doing this kind of stuff. Look at that. Pretty damn good, I think. Uh, don't like anything. Okay, I can go that way with it. Okay. All right. Uh, where's my, okay? Duh. Where's my soldering iron? Okay. Now we uh, start the beginning. The soldering. Okay. Get the. Always do it. Let the heat do its job. Be careful right around here. There we go. Make sure that's uh, separated. Okay. I think I made a mistake. I accidentally hit the iron on one of the areas here. I think that's not, oh, that's nothing. That's just a tab holding it in. Okay, that's nothing. That's just this. All right, thought we did. These are uh, a man's best friend for electronics. These uh. Soldering bulbs or uh, pumps, AGCs or whatever they call the brand. All right. He's got these little ends. And they don't see do absolutely nothing. I'll just put a little. Not the best thing looking thing, but it's together. Now I just gotta put the uh, the NPNs in. Wait a minute. These guys, and I got really gotta read up on these. What goes where? And these are obvious. These are the shot keys. They go in there. I put them in there. Anyways, this is our little progress going there. Double checking my work. And, uh, if I get questions on my, for myself, I can always go on, uh, oh, what you call it there, the old interwebs, the, the Google search on a couple things. If I don't understand, I'll go check it out, but I kind of figured out this area here and put these. But, anyways, we'll say 7 3 for now. This is uh, the AM kit. 